Wilhelm II, the last German emperor. Wilhelm II was a controversial emperor, who caused mayhem and chaos around him. Though he had a great love for his homeland, he was not an effective ruler and plunged Germany into war. This video will focus on the life of Wilhelm II. If you would like to support my channel, please like, comment, subscribe or even check out my Patreon page. It really helps me to create new content. Wilhelm II was the first child of Victoria, Princess Royal and German Empress and her husband, Frederick III, German Emperor. Wilhelm was born after a difficult labour on the 27th of January 1859. He was born in the breech position and was forcibly removed from the birth canal. His traumatic birth resulted in a tear of the brachial plexus of his left arm, leaving him with Herb's palsy. He also suffered from a lack of oxygen at birth, leaving him with mild brain damage. His left arm became his mother's obsession. She wanted Wilhelm to be a strong heir and felt his disability reflected badly on her. In her pursuit to cure her son, she damaged her relationship with him. Twice a week, Wilhelm's arm was placed inside the body of a freshly slaughtered hare. The idea was that the warm blood would transfer health and vitality to the arm. This did not work and was very traumatic for the child. As he learned to crawl and walk, Wilhelm's right arm was tied behind his back. It was hoped that this would force him to use his left arm and he would have to work up strength. Instead, the toddler was unable to use his arms at all and it caused him great distress. Wilhelm was also subjected to electrotherapy almost every day. None of these supposed treatments worked and caused Wilhelm to despise his parents. Wilhelm was tutored at home by George Hinspetter. After this, Wilhelm was educated at the Friedrichs Gymnasium and finished his formal education in 1877. He then spent four years at the University of Bonn studying law and politics. From a young age, Wilhelm was exposed to the military environment of the Prussian court. It did much to frame his ideals and relationships. Wilhelm idolised his grandfather, Wilhelm I, and was ambivalent towards his father. He had a distant relationship with his mother, due to her treatment of him as a child. After frequent attempts by his parents to educate him in liberalism, he became alienated from them, suspecting them to be putting Britain, his mother's homeland, before Prussia. At 21, Wilhelm joined the military, being assigned to the rank of Lieutenant of the 1st Regiment of Foot Guards. He reported that he found a family amongst the soldiers. During this time, he was influenced by Chancellor Otto von Bismarck against his parents who opposed Bismarck and his policies. Wilhelm soon grew to hate Britain for supposedly killing his father. Wilhelm fell in love with his first cousin, Elizabeth of Hesse, but she turned him down. He eventually married Augusta Victoria of Schleswig-Holstein instead on the 27th of February 1881 and they remained married until her death in 1921. During their marriage they had seven children together. Wilhelm, Ito Friedrich, Adalbert, August Wilhelm, Oscar, Joachim and Victoria Louise. 1888 became known as the year of three emperors. In March 1888, Wilhelm's grandfather, Wilhelm I, died, and his father became Frederick III. He was dying from throat cancer and died in June of that year. Wilhelm ascended the throne as German Emperor and King of Prussia, 
After becoming Kaiser, Wilhelm soon grew impatient with Bismarck, opposing his foreign policies. Wilhelm wanted to expand the German Empire and was determined to rule as well as reign. Wilhelm was content to allow Bismarck to handle the day-to-day -day administration. As time went on, Wilhelm became more interested in social issues of the day and argued for better treatment of workers. He was in favour of pro-labour unions, but Bismarck opposed this opinion, managing to push through anti-socialist laws. Bismarck resigned in 1890 and was succeeded by Leo von Caprivi and then Clodewig, Prince of Hohenlohe Schillingsfurst. Hohenlohe was dismissed in 1900 and Wilhelm appointed Bernard von Bülow to the position. Wilhelm concentrated on the creation of the German Navy. It would rival that of Britain and allow Germany to declare itself a world power. As Kaiser, Wilhelm promoted the arts and sciences and sponsored the Kaiser Wilhelm Society for the promotion of scientific research. He also supported reform of the Prussian education system. Wilhelm had a difficult relationship with many of his relatives, his most difficult being with his British relatives. He craved the acceptance of his British relatives, and while his grandmother, Queen Victoria, treated him with courtesy, many of his other relatives ignored him and didn't accept him. Wilhelm and his uncle Bertie, later King Edward VII of the United Kingdom, did not get along. Bertie treated Wilhelm as a nephew, not as a reigning monarch, and Wilhelm would lord his position as emperor over his uncle. Despite his poor relationship with his British relatives, when he heard his grandmother was dying in January 1901, he travelled to England and was with her when she died. Wilhelm was friends with Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria and was shocked by his assassination in June 1914. Wilhelm offered support to Austria-Hungary in crushing the assassins the Black Hand. The perceived source of the movement was Serbia. Austro-Hungarian ministers and generals convinced the Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph I to sign a declaration of war against Serbia. Russia mobilised to defend Serbia. Wilhelm saw this as a threat and thought that England, France and Russia would conspire to destroy Germany. Britain promised to enter the war if Germany attacked France. War soon followed, engulfing Europe. During the war, Wilhelm lost much of his power and took on more honorific duties. The German Empire became a military dictatorship under the control of Field Marshal Hindenburg and General Ludendorff. Nevertheless, Wilhelm still retained the authority to handle matters of political appointment. Support for the Kaiser dissipated by November 1918. Wilhelm was in Belgium when he heard of the uprisings in Berlin. He knew he would have to abdicate, but he still hoped to retain the Prussian kingship. However, this was impossible under the imperial constitution, which tied the Prussian and German crowns together. Wilhelm was forced to abdicate on the 9th of November 1918. Soon, the rest of the German kingdoms, dukedoms and principalities would eventually abdicate as well. Wilhelm left Germany and went into exile in the Netherlands, where they refused to extradite Wilhelm when requested by several other countries after the Treaty of Versailles in 1919. On the 28th of November 1918, after finally accepting that he had lost his crowns for good, Wilhelm issued a statement of abdication. In exile, Wilhelm married his second wife, Hermine Ruse of Greece, after the death of his first wife in 1921. 
Wilhelm hoped that the successes of the Nazi party would stimulate interest in the monarchy being restored. Soon, Wilhelm became horrified at the actions of the Nazis, but still held a degree of admiration for them. Wilhelm died of a pulmonary embolism on the 4th of June 1941 and was buried on the grounds of Hoosdorn, where he had lived during his exile.